A joint Congressional Oversight Committee looks into the efficiency of the automated election system based on transmission data of the results of the 2010 and 2013 elections. Joyce Ilas reports to us from the Senate for the details. Hi, Joyce. Yes, my the Joint Congressional Oversight Committee on Automated Election System is conducting a recount of the votes cast in three precincts in Gapan Nueva Ecija for the 2013 senatorial election. This after a Gapan Regional Trial Court held a recount and ruled that there are discrepancies between the automated count by the precinct count optical scan machines and the manual counting done by the trial court. The recount was in response to the civil case filed by the supporters of evangelist Eddie Villanueva, who, run, who ran but lost during the 2013 senatorial elections. The Commission on Elections has filed a motion to dismiss, to dismiss before the court, citing lack of jurisdiction to hear senatorial election cases. But the trial court adjunct the motion. Now, in today's hearing, Commission on Elections Chairman Sixto Brillantes explained, based on the election returns on Precinct 19, as that is the first precinct in the uh, in the uh, Gapan Nueva Ecija civil case, Billion Nueva received 278 votes. However, during the physical or manual recount, the votes went up to 379. That is 101 votes higher than the automated counting of the PICOS machine. Now, in the second and third precincts, the manual count showed Billion never received 7 and 11 votes higher than the PICOS count, respectively. Now, Brilliant says the 7 to 10 discrepancies is acceptable. He blamed these discrepancies in the manner by which the manual counting was done by the trial court. For one, Brilliant says the trial court counted the ballots without following the resolution or the rules of the common except in counting votes manually. He explains the trial court merely counted the number of shades beside Billion Nueva's name without considering whether there was an overshade or undershade. Now, the votes cast for other candidates was or were also not considered. Thus, overvote was not taken into consideration. My an overvote happens when a voter shaded more than 12 names for senatorial candidates, which results to the PCOS in validating all the votes cast. Now, Brillantes said that as far as the first PCOS or as far as the first precinct is concerned, a 101 discrepancy between the manual and PCOS count is impossible. He believes the trial court may have tampered with the ballot. To see if the ballots were really tampered and to see the cause of the discrepancies between the PCOS count and the manual count, the Joint Congressional Oversight Committee is now decrypting the CF cards, which contain digital copies of the ballots from the three precincts. The decryption is expected to take about three hours. Now, once decrypted, the di digital copies of the ballots will be printed out. These copies will then be compared to the actual ballot, which will also be counted manually during the Senate hearing later. As of now, the Senate hearing is still ongoing. Nice. Thanks, Joyce. Joyce Elas reporting to us from the Senate.